I have a 2300 CRV. I am doing a fuel pump replacement on this car, and the fuel pump is located under the driver's side rear seat. Uh, so, what you need to do, you have to move the seat up. <clears throat> Excuse me, move the seat up. And if you watch some of the video that people have been posting, it will show you how to move the seat up. Um, but they miss a couple of steps on what you should do. Once you got the seats up, uh, this carpet right here, this carpet right here, it's tucked underneath the uh, plastic covering right here on the back. So what you got to do is you have to pull it out, just careful not to rip it, just pull it out from underneath this plastic tab. Same with the other side. Um, once you get it out <coughs> and the seat's already forward um, and the carpet's been lifted up, on the driver's side you will see this uh, cover right here, the fuel pump cover. Sorry I'm doing the dark because I work second shift and I don't have time to do it during the daytime. Um, you have this this fuel pump cover right here. It is screwed in with uh, three fill of screwdriver, uh, not screwdriver, but screws. So just get yourself a good Phillips screw, screwdriver and remove three of them. Once you remove it, um, just kind of pry it up. Don't bend this plate because this plate is aluminum. It bends easily. If you never replace it, it's going to get stuck a little bit. So just kind of pry it up and be careful. Once you pry it up, you'll see this connector that goes on top of the fuel pump. And you got the fuel line right here. Just squeeze the tab right here and release the, uh, not right there, but right here. And release the electric connector. And then you got the fuel line and the plastic piece right here. Just squeeze it together. You can use the, uh, if it's hard to come out, just use the. Uh, Need a nose plier, squeeze it together and pull it out. Just be careful not to cut yourself on this edge right here. It's really sharp. I did cut myself already. Right there, try to put it in. But once you got this loose, this plastic tab that you squeeze in, you have to put it back onto the new uh, fuel pump nozzle. It's easy. Just get a pick and Lift up the locking tab on this little uh, white plastic piece and push it into the new one. Just careful not to break it. It's come out real easily. And <clears throat> once you got all this out or disconnected and this fuel line come off, um, just be careful the fuel is going to spray out. <clears throat> and if it does, then just get a rag or paper towel and just clean it up. And then, see all this tab right here? I guess they make special tools for this. I'm pretty sure they do. But what you can do is just get a flat tip screwdriver right here. Just put it in at the notch right here. And tap it with a hammer. Uh, you don't want to use excessive force. Just enough to <clears throat> unscrew it. Make sure you turn it counterclockwise. If you turn the clockwise, it's going to tighten it. <clears throat> so, just tap it. Use just enough force to make it turn. It's going to be uh, kind of tight. So, just use it. Just use a little enough force to break it loose. And <clears throat> once you break it loose, screw the, unscrew this and remove the fuel pump. And, of course, you're going to have fuel coming out. So, just... Let it drain out a little bit once you lift it up. Uh, the fuel pump, you have two springs on both sides. Because when you push it in, just, you have to push it down. And once you got it out, um, 
put a new one in make sure you remember what all you took out because it got a rubber seal at the bottom that goes on the top of the lip of the fuel tank and also the new one come with the seal right on top of the fuel uh, fuel pump uh, the old one didn't have it I'm not sure why but the new one came with it so just put it on there and uh, <clears throat> once you got it on there and screw the new one in um, it's got a lining mark right here that arrow right there it should be lining with the one with the two uh, right there see that right there <clears throat> that little what do you call it the little two lines right there make sure it's in between that <clears throat> um, but he, there's no lining mark on the the cover itself so just make sure it's nice and tight um, same way when you got it off turn it the same way you, clockwise use the uh, flat tip screw dry just tap it with enough force you don't want to force it and make sure do not force the cover to go in make sure you turn it by hand you don't want to strip the thread or anything on it just turn it by hand get it evenly um, on the fuel pump once it's evenly on and you can't turn it by hand anymore then use the screwdriver flat tip screwdriver and a hammer and just tap it <clears throat> go each tap and tighten it up once it doesn't uh, it doesn't turn anymore then you should be good it should be tight um, but if you want to make sure the new fuel pump work just get the cover on make sure everything is sealed up you don't have to tighten it yet um, hook the fuel line back up because you don't want uh, well you have to have this connected before the fuel pump come on but anyway hook up the fuel line back on Put the electric connector, stamp it in there, and turn the car on and make sure the fuel gauge is where it's supposed to be. Um, then start the car. If the car started, then you know you, your fuel pump is good. So it's not very hard. Um, sorry, I'm doing the dark, I just don't have time to do it in the daytime except for the weekend. So but uh, this is my customer car, so I try to get it out for them so they can they can have it back the next day. Um, yeah, after you install it, everything is nice and tight. Just clean all the fuel around the uh, on top of the fuel tank. Be careful not to cut yourself around those lips, and then just put everything back together, and it should be good to go. Um, thank you for watching. And I hope this video helped.